Welcome back to Talking Comics with Heroes and Villains. I'm Eric, and this is Arnie. And this is The Victories, which Arnie liked apparently. Arnie, you're into it. I thought it was good. Yeah, I it, didn't think it was stellar, but I thought it was a good read. I thought it was like a cookie full of shards of glass. Like it looked so good, and I wanted it to be awesome. And I, I took a bite into it, and it was just horrible. You were horrible. digging like the animal rights part. I, I hated it. No, no, like the art's really good. It's uh, Michael Evan Oming, yeah. who is phenomenal. I actually yeah. read um, like a giant biography on him one time. He's super good. I love yeah. Powers. All his books, Bendis, are amazing. Um, yeah, he's usually very, very good. Mouse Guard is cool. Uh, this art is fantastic. Can't write for anything. What, why do you say that? Because I, I followed the story and I thought it's yeah. a very good starting off point. And yeah. I think it's three issues. Yeah, uh, there's just nothing in so it that I thought it was a good setup. Me at all. There's, it's very generic. There's a guy in there. Um, the whole plot is that there's a superhero who's kind of like Batman who won't kill. And there's another hero uh, who's perceived as a villain because he does kill. Yeah. But he kills people who kind of deserve it. Uh, corrupt politicians. And there's a judge in this one who is kind of shady. Who would, yeah. yeah. Whatever, whatever. He's super brutal, Punisher-esque. And he's a werewolf, too, this character. And he's, well, he's a jackal. And he's trying to taunt this other guy into being a murderer like him. Right. Uh, but the, and the guy's name is Faustus, and it's the whole, like, deal with the devil. It's super corny. Super corny. I thought that was pretty cool. Really? Yeah. I, I feel like in, in the 80s and in the 90s, comics, on, on the first page, used to quote Shakespeare or the Bible. Every single, every comic ever, like Daredevil and Punisher and like Transformers, like there was this ploy where it's like, oh, if you allude to classic literature, then you're an, and, 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 like, you're intelligent and you're fun and like, yeah, I don't know, I don't like it. I don't, I don't know. Like I it. thought that was pretty clever, um, especially it, for being such a short story. It's just like a one for one adaptation though, where it's a uh, there's a spooky guy and he's making a deal with a spooky guy. Like I don't know, it's kind of on the nose. Deal, They're going to. That's the whole point of the book. It's stupid. It's really stupid. I, I like the fact that the the setup of the story is this new society where things have gone wrong. Politicians are really no longer in control. Neither are the cops. Uh, Wait, it's like, has been redistributed. Yeah, it's a crappy Watchmen. Yeah, it's like a really really bad yet. Watchmen. It's yet. like Watchmen but a D. I think, I think you're assuming that, but it's only the first yeah. issue. I guess just uh, everyone's voice is kind of annoying to me. It just reads like a crappy '90s Punisher comic. That's why I don't like it. But, but it's you, beautiful. It's aren't you beautiful. a fan of the 90s Punisher? I'm a fan of crappy 80s Punisher. <laughs> what, what happened to the 2099 series? Oh man, that's so good. You that's can't get so any more craptastic than Oh, that. how dare you bite your tongue, say. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It, no, there's nothing new in it. Like, explain to me why you like that so much. What, what is in this book that isn't in Watchmen or isn't in anything else? Um, it's not as fantastical, and you get to see... There's a guy who's a werejackal. I That's fantastic. I didn't, I didn't say it wasn't fantastic. I said it's not as fantastic. So you got Were Jackal, and then you've got like Big Blue Jesus from over here. It's like the spectrum. Yeah. Okay, I got so, it. And the part I like the most is that it delves into the mind of the main hero, who is this African American guy called Faustus. Yeah. And he, after he fights this guy, um, sends him to prison and rescues this lady whose husband has just been decapitated in front of her. <laughs> He goes home and he is dealing with that. And it, it's so crass that looks like they try to compare this to literature. There's allusions to you know classic myths and books, and then the, in the middle of it, there's a guy who's a jackal who takes a crap down the throat of a guy whose head he ripped off. That's awesome. And like you see it in silhouette, so like you can't have it both ways. You can't be like hoity-toity librarian and also like pooping on a corpse. Yes, you can. You can't and do both. It, and he did it in that book. That's the best <laughs> You part have of it. to choose. That's it's the best totally part of it. so weird. It's and what I was so trying weird. to get at is that he deals with that. Like, he deals with someone pooping down no, the neck no, no, of a no, guy. No, 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 no. No, no. The hero <laughs> goes home and deals with that type of world that he lives in. But how does right. he deal with it? He just sits in a chair and thinks about no, it. No, he doesn't. He's going crazy. He's writing all these things in the book in his little notebook that are coincide with like mental illness. It's all but internal. He's going nuts. But it's all internal monologue and it's one guy telling us he's going nuts and like they keep I don't know. They keep just like telling you what to feel and like what's happening but they don't show you. They're just like, "Hey, this guy's crazy. Hey, look at this guy's pooping down a neck." Like it's so spot on to what's happening. It's like an illustrated children's novel. I just thought it was it was uh, good just because of the I guess the gruesomeness of the book. Because it, it doesn't pull any punches, man. Like, like in, in a society that's that messed up, you know, and it has those types of creatures in it, yeah. that's very likely to happen. It's like watching with scat. That's all I thought. It's pretty. It's pretty. Michael Evan Oming. I don't think so. Michael Evan Oming can't draw anything bad. Like, he's, he's super good. It, on, looks, it looks On pretty. a side note, I don't think this is his best work as far as drawing. What do you like? I like Powers. That's mine. I love yeah. Powers. Powers is really clean. 
Um, yeah. So he has like a, a Bruce Tim kind of effect. In yeah, that. that's really good. To me, I like this more because I think it feels more like his own unique style, like yeah, the art style. I, not to me, man. It felt very messy. Where Powers is really yeah. clean. To me, for his uh, talent, yeah. Powers is a standard. Yeah. Like he's that's just like he was hanging out with Dave Mack a little bit or yeah, something. Yeah, that's what I expect to this, see from him is the power when, style. When he was gonna do the Fox character for a while, that never happened. This guy looks a lot like the Fox. Yeah. I, I wonder if it's just like a pitch that was like turned down somewhere else and he turned it over. Could I don't, be. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it uh, has, the design is cool. The art is cool. It has that feel to it. I still bought it just because it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, check it out for the art. We, we disagree yeah. on the art and we disagree on the writing, but. Yeah, that's uh, reason enough uh, to check it out. Don't read it, but I look at it. Yeah, there's it's like a guy, it's like Arnie. There's a guy or it's handsome. pooping on someone's throat, down someone's throat. Oh, where jackal? You won't find that in any other book. I'm gonna go with it's better than Space Punisher. It's a good. Ooh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now uh, let us know what you think is better, Space Punisher or the awful victories. The awesome victories. Yeah. Uh, how can they let us know, Arnie? In Facebook. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Heroes and Villains Tucson, or on Twitter at H&V Comics, or, or on uh, Tumblr. Heroes and Villains Tucson Tumblr com. So yeah, if you want to send us like a video of you like pooping down the throat of your arch rival, don't. 